Hey friends, it's Laura. Welcome back. Today we're going to work on the temperature blanket again. Um, I'm on a roll with crochet, so we're just going to keep pushing through and getting more done. But first, um, on my last temperature blanket video, I said I would show you what I had been working on lately. So here is my Christmas ornament. Let's see if I can get this. Um, it's a clear acrylic um, so it's kind of smudgy and scratched up because that's just how they are but it's clear acrylic ornament and i used the cricut to cut out um the words choose joy put them on there and then on the inside is a uh, curling ribbon like i said this is so scuffed up that's just the nature of acrylic big containers of acrylic ornaments they they rub them against each other and get messed up but glittery uh curling ribbon on the inside so those are my christmas gifts part of my christmas gifts and then these are my these are my trick-or-treat bag stickers why are these different sizes? Why are these different sizes? Hang on. These should not be different sizes. Oh dear. I mean, it doesn't matter for the trick-or-treat bags, but it matters for selling them on Etsy. I'm going to have to go back and... How did I get these so different? Hmm. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. But... That's beside the point. They are glittery, holographic, different sized pumpkins. One is pink, one is orange. And um, I think they're awfully cute. They were supposed to be this size, this bigger pumpkin size. How did that happen? I just need to go make adjustments. It's fine. I just need to make adjustments in the in the description so that the orange one states that it's smaller. But I think they're awfully cute. They're sparkly. And they're on my Etsy right now, but they're two different sizes. I can't believe that. How did I do something so stupid as that? Anyway, so that's what I've been up to. So let's, let me find my... Here is October and into November. Here's where we left off. I need to take off this stitch marker because it's not quite in the right place. You can't see yet. October 1st is 75, which is still light peach. So we're going to go ahead and Put this back on the end. Turn this around. Okay. So how are you doing today? Today for me is Sunday. You're not going to see this for... There's my hair. 
you're not going to see this for a couple days. I'm a little behind on videos again. I think I might post a couple of videos today instead of one. I might do two just to catch up. Um, we'll see. I'm only a couple videos behind, so I, I might not. I'm not sure yet. So here's the thing, I went to, I was watching Llama Mama Kayla. She's on YouTube and she works a lot with yarn. Um, and she was working with this, I think it was Bernat Fluffy yarn. She had gotten it at Michael's. I'm like, oh, that looks really fun. And she was making, um, she was making the base for like a scarf or something. for an outfit, I think. I didn't catch all of it, but um, so I was really more intrigued on what she was doing. She was making a really long chain and then double crocheting three double crochets into each chain and then spiraling it. And it just, it looks so cool and I thought that would make such a cool um, garland to like hang in my house. So, I, um, I looked online and my Michaels does not carry that yarn, nor does the Michaels, the next Michaels out from me, which is like 30 minutes, but we were going to go there anyway, or we were going to head down that direction soon anyway so I was like oh, I could check there but they don't they don't carry it either this closest one that does carry it is like 15 minutes away and like oh, I don't think so the amount the gas costs I think I could just spend the money on shipping and order it so I ended up going to my Michaels and just buying some other yarn you know that wasn't quite what I was after but I think will work just fine I'm going to make me some little garlands. got one that was like different colors of cream and then one that was I think a macchiato cake from Karen and it's gonna be like kind of reddish purple which I think I can I can use both for the holidays too Hope you're all staying cool. It is so hot here. It's getting up towards 100 again today. It feels like temperature is over 100. If you looked at the temperature, 
you know, like online for here today would tell you it's only in the 80s, that that's by the water. It's much cooler by the water. Anywhere inland, even just like, we're like, I don't know, a mile or so, a couple miles in water. And it's got to be more than a mile, maybe a few miles. Maybe a mile drive, but, and it's, it's just so much hotter here. Okay, so that was October 1st. Now we're into October 7th, no, October 2nd, which is 78 degrees, which is still light peach. Move this stitch marker. between these two rows. I'm going to go back and do that. That one's kind of already in between those two rows, so I'll just leave it. I just got, I think, what I needed to finish my little pumpkin project that I talked about last time. I have four little pumpkins and I'm going to hot glue together top to bottom, make like a little pumpkin totem and um, but I needed something to stake it into the ground with so I got a yardstick when I was at Michael's today. Um, Probably need to cut it a little short. So I can hot glue it to the back of the pumpkins and then leave a bot leave. Uh, some of it sticking out at the bottom to uh, stake into the dirt. There's a book sale coming up. Um, we used to go to every year. It's used books. I'm going to benefit the organization. It benefits Planned Parenthood. And something else. can't remember but it'll be starts this week I think it's always so hot though we're actually gonna be really nice this week so maybe we'll go I kind of want to see if they have like a section for graphic novels because they have it like sectioned off you know like murder mysteries and fictional paperback books and nonfiction and then the nonfiction is subdivided into categories and the 
fiction sometimes is divided into categories and the kids books are divided and I just I wondered if they had any um, graphic novels in the category so that would be pretty cool because those are expensive So maybe we'll go check that out this week. I think it starts, what's the date today? Today's the 8th, it starts Thursday. It's gonna be relatively cool at that point. At least it's supposed to right now. You know, that could change. The weather always changes. It's supposed to be like in the low 70s which is wild considering what it is. It's like almost a hundred right now, but it's going to drop like that many degrees, but I'm looking forward to it. And then it's going to go up again. It's kind of how it works at this time of year. It goes down and it goes up and it goes down and it goes up and October 2nd, October 3rd is 84 degrees, which just puts us back in the hot orchid. Just losing the blanket, hang on. Get this a little more light over here. Sorry, didn't mean to hit you. And Michael's and they're starting to get out. They're, it's mostly fall right now, fall and Halloween, but they've got a little section out of the way with the Lemax Christmas Town.
What are you all up to today? Is it just a relaxing day for you? Are you coloring anything? Crocheting anything? I left it at my parents' house, otherwise I'd show you, but I'm also working on more on that. If any of you remember, I was working on a kind of a wrap or a shawl type thing and with the Colorama yarn. I'm back to working on that. We really haven't done much this weekend because it's been so hot. got some little shower shelves like instead of like the generic like you know shower caddy that goes around your shower head mine is um really rusty in a lot of places and it's just needs to be replaced so I, I instead of that because it's it doesn't really fit very well with my current shower head so I um I got some shelves instead that stick to the wall so I'm going to try that out and see how that works and see if they just fall off. Did any of you get into the Squishmallow craze? I, I did. I had so many Squishmallows. I still have a few that I really like. But most of them I gave to my aunt because she gives them away as like big prizes at the end of the year for her um, kids at school. She's a teacher. Okay, so that was October 3rd. So now we're at 93, which is tropical pink. So anyway, so I gave them to her and she's gonna hand them out for like, you know, big test rewards and stuff. Is tropical pink? So, um, then that left me with a bunch of the mini ones that, like, you could get, you could get them at, in boxes at Costco. I was collecting them for a while. And some of them were gifts. Like, my aunt would give them to me for gifts for, like, Christmas and my birthday and stuff. And, um, some of them I'd just buy. But I kept the boxes because I'm that kind.
kind of person that keeps the boxes for everything. Did I go all the way there? So I kept one mini Squishmallow because it looks like my cat Clover with a little flower crown. It's my favorite one and I'm going to sell the rest because those box sets sell for quite a bit or at least you know a reasonable amount worth selling. So I bought some um, craft paper to wrap them up in to sell in the boxes they come in because I, I don't I don't have access to enough boxes to um, ship them in otherwise it would take me too long to collect them so they're gonna be wrapped in craft paper and shipped like that yeah, try to recoup some of my money spent on squishmallows <laughs> And, you know, I'm not mad or anything. Like, they brought me a lot of joy. You know, at times when I really needed joy. So, like, you know, I... Um, I just don't need them all right now anymore. In my room, I took down a lot of the shelves I had that had like squishmallows on them and my room feels so much bigger it just feels so much less cluttered because I had like some clear acrylic little shelves holding up the mini ones I took those down. I'm going to keep those, the shelves, because I might be able to use them for my small business or something. But like some corner shelves in my room, like some floating corner shelves. And I was able to put a fake plant on one and I was able to put some graphic novels on another one. They just, it just looks really nice in there now in my bedroom. So it looks much more peaceful instead of full of squishmallows. <laughs> not that being full of, having a room full of squishmallows is not peaceful. It's just less cluttered. It's going to be a really weirdly shaped blanket. I didn't make it wide enough and it's, it was going to be too long and not wide enough so I cut the whole thing in half and now it's going to be kind of short and not very wide. So it's really not going to be like a usable blanket. It's just going to be more like a throw blanket.
don't know how people do these, like where they fit like a queen or king bed and actually finish them in the same year that they started them. I just, I just don't even know. And, you know, still have jobs and families and like, I don't have any of that stuff. And like, I, I still, I'm getting towards the end of 2024 and I'm still trying to finish 2023's blanket. I will never do one of these again. This, this is ridiculous. I'm looking forward to the border though. I got gray for the border and I'm going to do like a scalloped edge. I think it'll be really cute. Maybe a scalloped edge. Maybe a plain edge. I don't know. Okay, that was day four at 93 degrees. Now we're at day five at 100 degrees, which is pink, which I don't think I have right here. Mm, no, I think it might be over here. Well, bear with me. I'm going to have to... Oops, I've got too much stuff stacked over here. That's pink. Okay. The corner of my living room is kind of stacked with eBay stuff that I need to sell. And it's just a bit chaotic. This is pink. We have not used pink yet. Let's get this, put this back in here. Take a drink. Everybody stay hydrated. I'm starting to run out of space over here. I've got a lot of yarn to my left. I need to cut this off. Let me move this yarn to my right. Try and get a little bit of space back. We have not used this pink yet. It's a lovely pink. Kind of a cool pink. Okay. I'm going to flip the blanket around. I'm sorry, I hit you again. Close quarters in here. Not a lot of room. Okay, let's tighten these. I'm definitely going to have a lot of this pink left over. I'll have to find something to do with it. Because if this is the first time we're using it, there's this day and the day after, and that appears to be the only days, unless in November sometime it got up to 100. That's it.
like it's starting to get big enough to where it's hard to stay on the desk. I'm so pleased that it's growing though. It means we're making progress. Oh, did you hear that? That was a bunch of stuff falling off of my yarn cart. Yep. Gonna have to go clean that up later. I am getting hungry. It must be close to snack time. <laughs> we are going to finish. We're going to do six rows. Usually we do five, but we're going to do six. We're going to do this row and the next row because they're the same color and then we're going to cut it off and be done. As far as coloring goes, I've been working in some color by numbers, and I've also been working in Maria Troll's new book, the, I think it was Shooting Star. I can't remember if that's what it's called or if that's just like the premise of the book, that there's a shooting star every, in every page. I can't remember if that's the name of the book, but it's that one. It's her newest book. Um, I've got a few pages colored in there and I'm not doing like fancy coloring at the moment. I'm just doing straight coloring. Um, On the fence again about Pablo pencils. I have three. And I really love them. Like, I'd probably never buy them for myself because they're so expensive, but like, or I'd never buy them for myself, like, as a whole, like, you know, would I, you know, would I ask, would I ask for them for Christmas or would I ask for help paying for them for Christmas, you know, like a partial payment? Because I don't think I'd even feel comfortable asking. someone to buy like um it'd be my parents you know I don't I don't think I'd feel comfortable asking them to buy me something that expensive so I um they would but I don't I wouldn't want them to so I think I'd probably ask them to like you know help me pay for it oh my kitty's coming in Hi, 
clover. Hi. Hi, honey. How are you? Give me some little head nuggies. Okay, sorry. I need to pet the chicken. He's probably looking for his afternoon treat. He's ready for his afternoon snack, too. But anyway, I'm really interested in the Pablo pencils, and I have been for years. And I've just never been able to bite the bullet and buy them. I bought them once. as a, My parents bought them for me once as, as a gift from Amazon and they were terribly scratchy like there was something wrong with them um, so I ended up returning them because clearly there was something wrong with them they were scratchy they were terrible um, of course the price was a lot less for them at that point because this was a long time ago um, the price has gone up a lot since so I am um, wish I would have just reordered them The three, I have three greens, three po green Pablo pencils that I bought open stock at a local art supply store. And I just, I love them. I use them every time, every chance I get when I'm coloring in green stuff. So we'll see. We'll see what Christmas holds. You know, if I'm if I'm in a big, it happens a lot that I'm in a coloring slump around Christmas, which is unfortunate because I've got a lot of coloring books that are Christmas themed, and um, and then I tend not to order or not to ask. For Christmas or coloring related things for Christmas so we'll see we'll see how it goes Yeah, almost at the end here.
I hope I've been in camera this in frame this whole time. I keep it zoomed in a little bit so you guys can actually see what I'm doing and I, it makes it hard to stay in frame. yarns back over here cross off day six because we did six today and um not a lot of variation for the rest of October. It's all 70s and 80s. Um, November, there's a little more variation. There's a lot of high 70s, high 80s, low 70s. Can you hear that? I don't know if you can hear that. That's Clover scratching on his new scratching board. <laughs> He's really getting into it. Anyway, I just put it down for him the other day. I'm glad he found it. Is that good? Yeah. Anyway, so we'll get there. Thank you for joining me. So here's what we have right now. There's a little bit we did today, which seems so small compared to all the crocheting I just did. But I know it adds up because every little bit adds up. So this little pink area is the two 100s we just did. So thank you for joining me. We will come back. Maybe we'll do some coloring next time. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just stick to crochet. I don't know yet. We'll have to see. But until next time, everybody take care. Everybody stay cool. And I will see you all again soon. Bye.